So, what is going on, YouTube? This is your boy Sam from Team Sam Rex here, and today, guys, I'm coming at you with my updated dinosaur attack profile for the December 2018 format. So, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. I've been playing testing this deck for quite some time, guys, and let me tell you guys right now, this is by far my favorite version of dinosaurs uh, that I've currently been play testing. This deck is just absolutely incredible, and I'll explain to you guys some of the combos that you guys can actually do with this deck. So, make sure you guys stay till the end, and I'll showcase you guys some crazy combos that you guys can actually do with this deck. You guys don't know Dinosaurs, Ultimate Connector Triano is one of the cards that can actually easily OTK. And if you guys want to see more videos like these, make sure you guys go down there right now and smash that thumbs up button. That'll be absolutely amazing. And let me know what your thoughts are about this deck in the comment section below. I love to hear your thoughts and opinions and, and what you guys overall think about this deck list. By the way, guys, if you guys want to host with the channel, this is the brand new Dark Magician Girl Holiday Edition playmat in celebration of uh, the holiday season. Uh, I'm releasing a brand new Dark Magician Girl playmat. This is by far one of my favorite playmats that I actually made on the channel. It's the Christmas edition. It has Dark Magician Girl, which is really cute. And also, she's holding, uh, you know, a Ghost Trick Jack Frost. And on the side there is also Snowman Eater. So if you guys uh, definitely want to get into the holiday spirit and help support the channel, make sure you guys get your Dark Magician Girl playmat today. Make sure you guys get this beautiful playmat today at TX1.com. All right, guys, start up with a monster real quick. You're going to play, of course, Double Ultimate Conductor Trano. You can easily search this card directly from your dexter hand using cards like Overrafter, uh, which is really awesome. You can easily tutor out this card as well using cards like Double Evolution Pill, which is very nice. If you guys don't know what Tyranno does, basically this card kills each and every single monster your opponent controls. You can activate its amazing ability to destroy one card on the field or in your hand to basically Book of Eclipse uh, every single monster on your opponent's side of the field. Each time this card uh, attacks a defense position monster, it sends the monster monster to the graveyard and your opponent will uh, deal a thousand damage uh, to their life points. And since Cosmo is now back at full power, if you're facing against a Cosmo matchup, this card literally just destroys Cosmos because you just summon Tyranno, uh, you'll Book of Moon all their ships, and then you just enter battle phase, attack each and every single one of the ships. Ultra Connector Tyranno effect will send the monster to the graveyard and deal a thousand. So since the monster was sent from the field to the graveyard, the Cosmo ships will not activate their effects because their effects requires the monster to be destroyed. But since Tyranno sends the monster to the graveyard, it is not destroying uh, the Cosmo ship. So basically, this card just destroys Cosmo. So uh, Tyranno is absolutely broken to play in the deck, obviously. Next turn to play, of course, Triple or Raptor. This card is absolutely broken. Uh, this card is like your starter card of the deck. You just want to see this card as quickly as possible. You just want to see this card in your opening hand so that way that you can just get access to Tyranno. This card has amazing ability. You can target one other level 4 or lower dinosaur monster on the field, uh, destroy it, and especially the dinosaur monster from the graveyard, which is really cool. And if you successfully summon Ultimate Connector Tyranno, you can just destroy uh, one of your dinosaur monsters to reward back uh, Ultimate Connector Trano, which is really good. So, triple copies of this card is a must off in the deck. Since this deck is a Lost World version, it'll play, of course, Triple Baby Sarasaurus. This card is one of the main combo pieces in the deck. This deck is a going second base deck, and you can easily OTK uh, your opponent using Baby Sarasaurus, uh, which I'll explain further. And this card synergizes really well with the Lost World. So, I, I think maximizing myself and actually playing this card in the deck is just absolutely correct. Now, after the brand new Dinosaur Engine, you'll play, of course, Dino Wrestler cards, Triple Dino Wrestler. Pangotrops, this card is absolutely broken. If you guys do not know what Pangotrops effect is that uh, one, it's searchable off of Raptor, which is why this card is just really great in this uh, dinosaur specific deck. If your point controls more monsters than you do, you can special summon this card um, to your side of the field for absolutely free, and it's a 2600 beat stick, which you can just attack over a monster and then during uh, the battle phase or main phase 2, you can just activate its effect to pop itself destroy, basically destroy a back row or any problematic floodgate, uh, which is really good. So since it's like a going second base deck, uh, Pangotrop is just really, really good. And especially against Floodgate decks or any back row heavy base deck, Pangotrop just takes care of that problem immediately. So, And the last Dino Wrestler monster you're playing in the deck is the one Dino Wrestler uh, Sistegastor. Uh, uh, this card is actually really, really good in the deck. If you guys do not know what Sistegastor's effect is that basically if this card is special summon, you can add one Dino Wrestler monster or one Dino World Wrestling from your deck to your hand. During the end phase, if this card is in graveyard because it was sent there this turn and your opponent control more monster than you do, you can target one Dino Wrestler monster in your graveyard and special summit, uh, which is really good. So you can recur back this card from the grave. But one of the reasons why it's in here is because it can easily search your Pangotrops, which I'll explain you guys a combo, uh, the combo involving this card. So that's pretty much it for the Dino Wrestler engine you're playing in the deck. After one of you're going to play, of course, the Miscellanosaurus. card's broken. 
really good, uh, you know, especially during main phase one against uh, Titan and also Colossus. Uh, one giant Rex cards absolutely free. Jirak Aolo for your single plays helps you make Trishula and also Dream Beast, which is really good. Uh, Overtex Quatless. Only one copy of this. I know it's kind of odd to play one, but one is all you need, man. And the way that you play this deck isn't like the traditional dinosaur ver uh, variant. We're just revolving around Overtex, getting it to the graveyard uh, to basically search the pill. Uh, so if you draw this card, it's fine, but only one copy of this card is enough. You don't often use Pill to Win. There's so many other two card, three card combos you can do with this deck to just win without the pill. But obviously, pill is still really important in the deck. And then obviously, off to our hand traps for the pill. And it's also for utility going second. Triple Ash Blossom and double Gold Soldier. Really good meta call right now. Gold Soldier is just really great. And triple Ash Blossom. And then last but not least for a Kaijus, uh, one Dog Around, which is a dinosaur, which is searchable off Over Raptor, uh, Kumungus, and also the Gamma Seal. So you have a total of eight uh, eight cards that actually help uh, counter Sky Strikers, especially Kaijus against Sky Strikers. You just auto win. You just give them a Kaiju, and then they lose. All their back rows and everything means absolutely nothing once you drop a Kaiju on them. So, uh, so that's pretty much it for all the monsters you're playing in the deck let's go off into our spells triple lost world this card generates you a token and then you can just enter battle phase attack a token protect a token destroy a baby serosaurus from the deck and then gas and then get access to over raptor immediately which is really really good and it also prevents your opponent from targeting your monsters because they control the token because they can only target a token which is really good uh so this card is really good against sky strikers giving your opponent the free uh uh token in your in, in their main monster zone can just be really problematic so lost world is really broken really good with baby serosaurus uh double terraforming to get access the lost world as quickly as possible and then the one dino world card is really good the main reason why it's in here is because it's the graveyard's effect you can banish this card from the graveyard uh to basically special one dino wrestler monster from your deck and obviously double uh foolish burial goods the reason why this card is in here is because it dumps with dino world wrestling and there's a two card combo with lost world and also foolish burial goods for uh you know us going second uh otk a uh, double evolution pill two copies Two copies is enough for this specific variant. Uh, triple Fossil Day, really good cards, obviously, starter cards. Foolish Burial, uh, Interrupted Kaiju Slumber, really broken card. And also Dark Hole is also a really good card to actually help you get your engine started as well. Summon Baby Sorosaurus, Dark Hole, get your Over Raptor, and just start your plays, which is really good. So uh, that is pretty much it uh, for the spell cards in the deck. And, you know, that's pretty much for the spells and also the monsters. You're playing an exactly 40 card deck. Uh, so let's go off into the extra deck real quick. Well, let's go off to the links, uh, you know, top of logic, uh, is Baina, uh, you know, help uh, get rid of back row. Pendastag, this card is broken, guys. If you guys don't know what this card does, uh, if, if this, if your linked monster attacks the defensive position monster, inflicts piercing damage to your opponent. So, can you, you summon this card, and you summon Tyranno under this card, and it's linked, all right? So now Tyranno is linked. So now Tyranno can just attack each and every single one of your opponent's monsters that's in defense mode, and it'll just deal piercing damage, so. That's like OTK. Reprodocus, really broken card in this deck. Uh, Borrow Sold. Uh, Borrow load. There's a combo with these cards right here, which is great. Uh, Nightmare Unicorn, uh, Nightmare Phoenix. These cards are just really amazing in this deck. You know, generic Nightmare cards. Uh, one Underclock Taker for OTKs. Evil Sword Dolka, uh, Evil Sword Lagia, Excite on Night, obviously. This, these, you know, the rank four package. Abyss Dweller, really broken card, guys. I recommend playing the Abyss Dweller uh, over the second lag. Yeah, this card is just really good against Dark Warrior decks. Uh, Trish, really good cards. You can easily make this card to banish any problematic monster from Handfield or Graveyard or any just problematic cards in general. Uh, one Chambar for OTKs. And then last but not least, one of Tree Beasts. And you guys are probably wondering, Sam, how do I make the Tree Beasts in this deck? Well, I'm about to showcase you guys that. So that's pretty much it. Um, for the extra deck, let's go off into your side deck real quick. Very basic stand, uh, side deck, you know, all to personal preference, gold spell, thunder dragons, red reboot, trap decks, you just kill them. Uh, the thir uh, third gold soldier, uh, double infinite impermanence, triple twin twister, and last but not least, triple book of eclipse. Book of eclipse specifically really good in this deck is because you just book of eclipse their entire thunder dragon board, and then you just go tyranno, attack, 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 and then like that's game, right? So book of eclipse is just really great. So that's pretty much it for the side, uh, main and also extra deck. Let's go off with some of the combos you can do with this deck real quick. All right, guys, so welcome to the combo segment of this video. For this OTK combo, all you need for your opening hand is obviously Lost Word and also Foolish Burial Goods. And I actually got this idea from the guy that uh, plays 78th place at uh, YCS London, so shout out to you, bro. I believe your name is Seaman, uh, so shout out to you if you're watching this video. And since this combo is a going second combo, yeah, you're also required your opponent to have any monster on the board, at least just one monster. So it doesn't matter uh, what monster they have, it just needs to be any monster. So uh, for this situation right here, 
I am going to be using, let's say, Jordan Lockbird. So Jordan Lockbird is the monster that, that, my, that my opponent has on the field, okay? So I'm going to use that example. So just Jordan Lockbird is any one random monster that my opponent has. So we Lost World, and then activate Foolish Burial Goods to dump your uh, Dino World uh, Wrestling, okay? So you're going to send this to the graveyard. And you want to banish this card from the grave, and you guys don't know what it does when you, you, you can banish this card to special summon a Dino Wrestler monster directly from the deck. And the Dino Wrestler monster you're going to special summon is Dino Wrestler Sysegosaur. And now what you're going to do is you're going to activate your Chain Links, uh, to dodge Ash Blossom. So what you're gonna do is that you're gonna activate Lost World Chain Link 2, Sysegosaur uh, Chain Link 1. So Lost World Chain Link 2, you're gonna give your opponent uh, the token. So this is the dinosaur token that your opponent has uh, on their side of the field. Okay, so I'm gonna give them the dinosaur token right here. And then this card is gonna search your Panko Chops. So now uh, this is your board and this is your opponent's board. They have a total of two monsters and since they control more monsters than you do, you can special summon uh, your Dino Wrestler Panko Chops. All right guys, so now what you're gonna do next is that you're gonna activate Panko Chops' effect to basically tribute uh, the Sysegator, so this is a Dino Wrestler monster, to target the token on your opponent's side of the field, to destroy it, okay? And now what you're gonna do is that you're gonna activate Lost World's effect to protect the token by destroying a dinosaur monster from the deck. So you're gonna destroy a baby Sarasaurus. So you destroy baby Sarasaurus from your deck, and then baby, and then they still have the token on the board and then their monster. Okay, so they, you destroy baby Sarasaurus from the deck. Baby Sarasaurus is gonna act its effect to special summon. Obviously, um, your Soul Eating War Raptor directly from the deck. So now what you do is that you're gonna activate Soul Eating War Raptor's effect uh, to basically uh, search the baby Sarasaurus. Uh, directly from your deck trans. So you're gonna search a baby Sarasaurus, and since you haven't normal summon yet, you're just gonna normal summon baby Sarasaurus, uh, activate O Raptor's effect to basically uh, target the baby Sarasaurus, uh, destroy it. Um, now you activate so we're gonna, oh, now you activate Or Raptor's effect to destroy the baby Sarasaurus, uh, especially the Dino Wrestler uh, from the graveyard, and then obviously your uh, baby Sarasaurus is gonna activate its effect, to special summon Dinosaur Monster directly from the deck. And the Dinosaur Monster you're gonna special summon is your uh, Miscellanosaurus. So in this situation right here, you can either make Boro Sword. So I just banish four dinosaur monsters directly from my uh, graveyard. Or something like a like maybe like a like a giant rex directly from my deck. Yeah, so like you know, so that's just like, like you know like, a, like an easy you know a two card Borosaur Dragon, uh, which is really really insane. Uh, you know, especially going second, and also at the same time, if you have a Tyranno or like a Pale in your first turn opening hand, uh, where you can let's say like for the situation, if you have a Tyranno in hand, you can just banish these two cards in your graveyard, especially in like ultimate like. To summon your Tyranno, right? And then you can just go battle phase, attack, 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 you know, switch this to defense, attack again, and that's game, right? Uh, so that's what's like really, really good. So like what you can do is you can just send these two uh, for like maybe like an underclock taker or something for like an underclock, uh, which is really good. And then at the same time, you can just go activate Miscellanosaurus, uh, banish itself to special summon Iolo. Uh, directly from the deck, uh, which is awesome. And then you just make, you know, make Chambara. You can either make Chambara. Uh, right here, which is really nice. You can either make Chambara, you know, which is really great, or like what you can do is you can just use, you know, these three right here. So, you know, four, four, uh, one is six. You can just make a Trishula now uh, right here. Uh, which is awesome. So you can banish a card on your opponent's control. Like it did. It all depends on the situation that you have, but that's ideally uh, some of the options you guys can go for. Uh, you know, it's obviously Lost World easily accessible. You can easily search this card using, uh, you know, a Fossil Dick and also O Raptor. You know, it's one of your main starter cards in the deck. So if you open up these three cards, you can open up with a really good first turn opening board. So what you do is activate uh, Lost World, uh, summon uh, so even, uh, summon O Raptor, activate O Raptor's effect. Uh, to basically uh, not well, activate your chain links, you're gonna activate chain link two, chain link one. So give your opponent, uh, so so activate your chain links correctly, chain link two, chain link one. So you dodge Ash. So you give your opponent the uh, the token, which is really good. So give your opponent that dinosaur token right there. And then what you're gonna do next is that you're gonna search the Tyranno directly from your deck to your hand. So this is your opening hand right now. Now what you're gonna do next is that you're gonna activate Miscellanosaurus to pitch yourself from your hand to the graveyard to protect all your cards. Uh, from being affected by card effects, uh, which is really good. And now what you do next is that you're gonna activate Or Raptor's effect to attempt to destroy the token, but you're gonna activate Lost World's effect to protect the token. So you won't be able to get to revive back Miscellanosaurus. So you're gonna activate Lost World to protect the token by destroying a baby. And when baby's destroyed, you can activate baby's effect to special summon Giant Rex directly from the deck. Okay, so you special summon Giant Rex uh, directly from the deck, uh, which is really, really good. And now what you're gonna do next is that you're gonna overlay these two right here for uh, Reprodocus, make a Reprodocus right there. And now what you're gonna do next is that you're gonna banish the Miscellanosaurus from the graveyard. 
banish it from the grave. Uh, one copy of itself, special man Dracaiolo from the deck. Cool. So now we're gonna use that. You're gonna activate Reprodocus effect and make Dracaiolo an Earth. So you're gonna make Dracaiolo an Earth, okay? Uh, which is really really good. So make it an Earth. And now we're gonna use that. You're gonna activate. Now what you're gonna do is you're gonna just gonna banish Giant Rex and also like a baby from the graveyard to special man Tyranno. So and once Giant Rex is banished, you'll, he'll get the special man itself back, okay? So now special man back Giant Rex, and then since Aeolo is now on Earth because of Reprodocus, you can send these two to the grave, and then you can easily make your first turn the Tree Beast. So, right there. So that's what you have first turn, guys. First turn, you have the Tree Beast, Tyranno, Lost World, which is three cards, and which those three cards are all searchable, which is really insane. So, yeah, so if you guys are wondering how you bring on that beast, that's how you bring on that beast first turn. So that's pretty much it for turn one. If your opponent makes you go first, you're like, okay, I'll make that beast Tyranno pass. You, they can't win, right? So this is actually a pretty cool broken uh, board that you can actually do first turn, which is really great. So uh, and that's pretty much for the deck profile, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys smash that thumbs up button. I'll be absolutely amazing. And it's your boy Sam from Team Stars and Sam signing out. Get your play mats today in the description box below. All right, guys, peace. <laughs> I feel like Usain in the cheetah print Talk fresh game, I don't need a minute R.I.P. the game, shh, I need a minute Okay, let's proceed with it I'm in the house, got to deep with it These bozos always sneak this And they taking shots, I'ma keep with it Like, no, no, this league business